last Wednesday, we're going to be watching Insane TikTok Mom Backlash, The World of the Food Rage Bait. And this is by Spill Shesh. The original, video, the original video will be description box below. Please comment what you remember yet today. And let's get into this video. Rage baiting on TikTok is out of control, especially yeah. when it comes to food that people are feeding their families. People have a ton of opinions that they are not afraid to share. And in the last couple of months, there's just been so many what new accounts popping up of people rage baiting cooking on TikTok. Some are getting more followers, some are getting straight up hate. It is a mess out there right now. We have so much to dive into. Rage baiting is not anything new, not but there's eating. been this recent trend of people Rage saying me. they're making food for their kids and it's just a bunch of junk, meant to make people go off in the comment section. That, that people who don't even have kids have been participating in the trend, just making these crazy videos serving up ice cream, cupcakes, and cookies for breakfast. And it's not just for kids either. People have been making videos where they're alleging to be making food for their partners and oh my god, it's disgusting. Nasty. Bugs on the food, dirty pots and pans, just to get people angry over these videos and people are falling for it every day with comments building and building with people going off obviously it's leading to more engagement for these videos which is exactly what they want but i want to talk about one mom who seemed to get caught up in the mix of all of this rage beating that has been going on on tiktok and how she, she ended really up getting serious. tons of backlash over a breakfast that she made for her actual kids and how she had to delete the video because people came down on her so hard tiktoker Alexandra posts videos on TikTok, often cooking real. meals for things, her family, no. doing grocery hauls, plating food, and more. A video of her ended up going viral at the beginning of the year where she was serving her kids donuts for breakfast. It sent the internet into a rage, calling her a bad mom and shaming her for not feeding her kids a healthier meal. Some who knew of the rage bait world accused her of purposely posting videos feeding her kids junk to get more views. I guarantee she is rage baiting in like every single- like cereal would have been better cereal still have a lot of sugar in it but it's not fucking donuts like god damn video which i mean by all means if you want to get views get views but the fact that she uses her children to get views and sacrifices their health to get views is pretty disgusting no, I just think this is and real. i'm usually like, not I don't think for calling this. people out and okay, you know insulting people which i'm not trying to insult her but i am trying to say it. that this, this kind of parenting is like unacceptable having this little effort to make stuff for your children especially a one-year-old like that is inexcusable honestly like that is completely inexcusable and you should be setting a good example for your children my whole page is about health and fitness and setting a good example for your children and leading by example in my opinion is one of the most important things you can do as a parent when in reality it didn't seem like that was actually the case and people were taking these couple videos where she isn't feeding her kids the best food and running with assumptions that she doesn't care about them and that she's a bad mom but taking a deeper dive onto her page you can see that she isn't always serving them junk food she does prepare well-balanced meals for her kids and it seems like she's genuinely trying but so many people were coming at her and like i said she had to delete the original video where she was serving her kids donuts because of how much hate she got as a result she's been coined the donut mom on tiktok but i will say that there have been those who have come out to defend her against those online who have tried to slander her name pointing out that had she been a creator known for her aesthetic and high fashion, she'd probably be getting praise and probably be called a cool mm. mom for serving her kids like, donuts for breakfast. There was a pretty viral a video of a mom giving her toddler a donut for breakfast accompanied with some applesauce and evidently that is so controversial and I have some thoughts. I see creators on this app every single day that have a million or so followers and fit the traditional standard of beauty. They will make their kids junk. They will go spend 500 plus dollars at the grocery store on mostly junk and no one says anything probably because they're popular and they're skinny you have this woman that is not a widely known creator that is not 100 pounds and she's getting shamed on a large scale serious, getting shamed i am just so get, terribly sorry for her terribly sorry no, that no, i went no, in the no, comments no, and had to unfollow mutuals of mine that are giving hate to this woman all of which claim to be great moms that are raising good humans failing mm. to realize that largely what makes you a good mom is the image that you are bearing to them every single day am i a mom that most Mostly, largely cooks home cooked meals. Do I try and buy organic as much as possible? Yes. I've gotten hate on the internet because I breastfed my child for several years, okay? I'm that mom. And yet, sometimes, you know what she eats? Cake pops, donuts. Wait, you breastfed her for several years? That's 
french fries cookies because she deserves to live a little bit because sometimes while it's not the best, sometimes moms, we're not at our best. Sometimes we lack a little bit. You know what we had for dinner last night? Papa John's. Is this normal for my house? No. Guess what? We had a busy day and I was exhausted. Guess what? That's okay. Should bare minimum parenting be something that we are condoning or promoting? Absolutely not. Should feeding them junk every day be the standard? Absolutely not. But I have enough empathy and common sense to understand that the vast majority of moms are not doing that. While you may see a clip of someone's life for 30 seconds and think that you know them, you don't. And crazy enough, as I had made note that I wanted to talk about this story, I saw this exact scenario on my For You page. TikToker Cass Benelli posted a TikTok saying, POV, you're the mom who wakes up and immediately goes and gets donuts when you don't have the energy to make breakfast. It was a cute video of her and her kid going to get donuts and her comments were so different than Alexandra's with one person writing, she's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. It's sad, especially when you do actually look into Alexandra's content. Like I said, she isn't always serving junk, but it was just yeah. assumed. People made videos talking about Alexandra, and I will say that when I saw this one, I was like, whoa, this is bad. But then I realized in doing more research that not all of these clips were hers and that some of them were taken out of context. This mom is going viral for the way she feeds her kids. And there's their snack. It's a bunch of different kinds of marshmallows. She uses a lot of seasoning and too much oil. People are concerned since her child is a one-year-old having powdered donuts for breakfast. And while it's fine to have a sweet treat once in a while, this is not the case. Now, even more people are creating this God type damn. of content. They're getting so many views, likes, and fame. Pretty bad, right? I mean, so when I saw this, I was like, this is just, this is not good. And I went to go look at her page. And in doing so, I realized that none of her videos were actually really like this and that it was just a complete exaggeration. In this clip right here, where she is I using she obviously a ton of oil, she was actually making homemade French fries, which I will say in order to fry things, you do need a hefty amount of oil. Exactly. And this video it with the salt like... is not her video. And same with yeah, this one right here. These either. are taken from a different account. The one where the woman rage baits putting bugs onto food and pretends to serve it to her boyfriend. But people that watch this video mistook it as a video from Alexandra's account and were obviously disgusted. People commented on this post saying that should be illegal. Poor baby. Honestly, I would be calling child services. Now, like I said, this all went down at the beginning of the year, but people still find clips of her donut video almost every day. It's still going around, but there are more people that are willing to defend her, calling out those who originally had an issue with it, especially after seeing her other content. Oh my God. Strawberry strawberries, strawberries, butter, these packs of diced chicken were on sale for $4, so I grabbed three packs of those. These apple fritters my sister picked out. This berry bowl my sister picked out. This uh, fruit chunk thing my ex picked out. These Kodiak waffles to try. These sausages were on sale, so we got two of those turkey bacon we got orange juice not from concentrate some pulp and no pulp someone defended her in the comments not too long ago saying bacon eggs with spinach and cinnamon rolls this is why everyone's mommy shaming she's doing her best and the kids are fed with nutrients mm -hmm. But of course, there's still people being critical of her, saying she's a lazy mom and all of that. And the one thing I'll say is that maybe you don't agree with some of the choices that she's making food-wise, but lazy is definitely not it because one time she made homemade donuts. Like, someone lazy isn't going to go through the effort of making homemade- Um, those not homemade donuts. Um, I know what homemade donuts are and I made them before. Those are not it. She got the biscuits and she make, she put donut- she got the donut whole thing and put it out of that, but she did make the donuts this time. The donuts. Well, and Alexandra has come out to defend herself. She came out a week ago to address hate that she had been getting Sorry, and respond just, to someone I, I to say that they should just fess up that they don't like her because it has nothing to do with food at the end of the day. Mm. Instead of saying that I'm lazy, I'm a bad mom, I'm all I do is feed my kids trash for views just say you don't like me and be done with it like just be honest and say you don't like me yeah. because if i cook 
I'm a lazy mom. And if I eat out, I'm a lazy mom. And if I microwave food, I'm a lazy mom. I've made them eggs before and been called a lazy mom. I've made steak and salad for dinner and been called a lazy mom. So at this point, just say you don't like me. That's why I don't listen to what y'all say about no. how I feed my kids. Seriously. Because you don't care about my kids. You don't care about what they eat. And I've said that before. And I mean, just be honest. Point blank period. Okay. You just don't like me. You don't like that I'm fat. You don't like that I wear glasses or that I exist. Or you see that everyone else doesn't like me and you don't like me. But don't sit here and come at me and say that I'm a bad mom no matter what I do. Or you can because it's fine because you're still paying my bills. Oh. But just be honest in your comments. The whole situation has continued to be a mess, but Alexandra has pushed through the hate and continues to post content. I certainly want to know what you guys think about all of this since there's so many opinions going around. How do you feel about this side of the- Chad, they're gonna have, they're gonna have something to say about you at the end of the day. That was insane TikTok mom backlash. The world of food rage bait and spice feel shit. The original video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want me to see next and I'll see you later. Bye.